Welcome to another at home edition of Faith Formation. This week we are out at Luther Park Camp with a bunch of our friends. Everybody wave and say hi. 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 <laughs> so I hope you enjoy for our lesson today some of the fun that we have around the campfire. So come join us, friends. by Jennifer Grant. I live in the city where the sidewalks and subway cars and buildings and buses are packed with people, but I've never seen God before. Grandma, does God live in the city? I asked one morning at breakfast. Yes, God is here, she says. You just need to know where to look. Wherever, whenever you see love, joy, and peace, God is there, she says, stirring her tea. Wherever there's patience, kindness, and goodness, God is there too. When you see faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, that's God's spirit at work. It's grandma. On the way to school, I'm on the lookout. I see a bus full of tourists and count 10 bright yellow taxis. I spy a man sweeping a stoop, and Grandma and I laugh when we see a tiny dog wearing a fluffy purple sweater. <laughs> At school, Grandma hands me my lunch and hugs me close before she says goodbye. That's what love looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the swings, I pump so hard I see over the wall into the alley. My friends shout higher, higher as my feet fly way up in the sky. That's what joy looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. Outside, car horns blast and sirens scream, but my classroom is quiet and calm. That's what peace looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I try to tie my shoes, but the laces tangle around my fingers. My teacher sits down beside me and shows me how to tie them. That's what patience looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the way home, I see a doorman wearing a red cape and a hat with a shiny brim. He's holding the door for a man using a wheelchair. The man moves very slowly and the doorman chats with him and smiles. That's what kindness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too.
While I'm setting the table for dinner, there's a knock at the door. It's our neighbor from downstairs, bringing us a loaf of bread. It's golden brown and warm and wrapped in a thin white towel. That's what goodness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. After dinner, I work on my homework while Grandma stands at the kitchen sink, washing dishes and humming to herself, just like she does every single night. That's what faithfulness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. At bedtime, Grandma sits at the edge of my bed, singing me a lullaby and stroking my head. She tucks my blankets up close around me. That's what gentleness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I lie in bed watching the curtains flutter. I want to talk about that dog we saw today and how high I can swing, but Grandma says that once I'm tucked in, I have to stay in bed until morning. I close my eyes and try to fall asleep. That's what self-control looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. <laughs> I saw God over and over again today. When, whenever I saw love, joy, and peace, and wherever there was patience, kindness, and goodness, when I saw faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, I saw God's spirit at work. I don't see God the way I see my friends or the street lights or the river but I see signs of God's spirit all around me, right here in the city. I know what God is like. Maybe I can be like that too. The f Does anyone know what this Bible verse is? Have you heard of this before? That this Galatians 5.22? Yes, it is Galatians <laughs> 5.22. Very nice job. Do you know what the verse says? You know what the fruit of the spirit is? My mom knows. Your mom knows? <laughs> Your mom. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> For the fruit of the spirit is love, love kindness, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. So, this little girl and her grandma. They um, were, well, the grandma taught the little girl about where she can see God in the city in her life. So now I'm wondering, where did you see God in the last 24 hours since we've been here? I felt him um, at the pool. You felt him in the lake? Yeah. I saw God when I was telling Theo jokes. You saw God when you were telling Theo jokes. Any other sightings of God? No. I heard that the balloons listening to the beautiful balloons. Mm -hmm. Balloons. Yes, and they're singing. Can you repeat after me? Dear God, Dear God. Thank you for your creations. Thank you for your creations. Thank you for creating our friends. Thank you for creating our friends. And thank you for creating our family. And thank you for creating our family. Please help us. Please help us. To love each other more. To love each other more. Every day. Every day. Just as you love us. Just as you love us. Help us. Help us. To be there for each other. To be there for each other. Just as you were there for us. Just as you were there for us. In your name we pray. Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. The fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And then it goes, oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. Banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana.
banana. You might as well hear it. It can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. It can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Oh, watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, I might as well hear it. It can't be a fruit of the spirit. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, and we're going to be grapes. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. If you want to be a grape, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Master. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Well, thanks so much for joining us all summer, friends. We've been having so much fun with you. And have a couple nice weeks off with your family, getting ready for school. And then sign up for Faith Formation for this fall. We're back to in-person classes at church. So we can't wait to see you there. Bye, friends.